Back at his headquarters, René explained that the forest has been cut down to make way for crops like soy. We had a huge deforestation in, in Paraguay, in the Atlantic forest. And most of the uh, deforestation was made for agriculture. The, the land in Paraguay used to be very a low price, so many, many people came, especially from, from Brazil, uh, bought land and plant soy because the, the soy hill is very good. It's, uh, they have very good production. The productivity is very high. Soy now accounts for nearly half of Paraguay's exports. In one of the poorest countries in South America, many people see this cash crop as Paraguay's economic salvation. But there's a growing campaign against soy. Wow, it really is just a sea of soya. Activist Diego Segovia took me to soy fields on the edge of the reserve. When you see these huge fields of soy, where there used to be great forests, what, what do you feel? I mean, the, this, the forests here have been lost really in your lifetime, haven't they? We say they've become a green desert because there's no other form of life that isn't soy, nothing but soy. And the herbicides they use, kill everything else. They kill the soil, they kill the water, they kill the rural communities. Soy is high in protein, and most of Paraguay's harvest goes to China and Europe to feed our pigs and cattle. But it's also now being used to make biofuel, a replacement for fossil fuels like petrol. But surely biofuel, it's seen as the, something that might save us from, from climate change. Isn't it a good thing? We think this is a myth. It's a lie, because to produce biofuels, you need to cut down the forest. You have to get rid of the trees, and the trees are the living things that absorb the most carbon. I think this is madness, converting our fields into fuel for cars.